Vibes in Five Ghana's first social media celeb talk show. The name Arnold Ben Sullivan. You can always call me. Bro, you see me? Bro, you see me? Big shouts to ESK Collections. Big shouts to Eddie, that's Akins. Big shouts to you, Mr. Brown, aka Royal Image. And big shouts to all our viewers, Africa and beyond. I keep telling you, subscribe, hit the notification button because this is where the real stories happen. In fact, this is the biggest online interview platform in Ghana. We are crossing over Africa. We are taking it worldwide. <laughs> Make sure I see you, Shatabando. Worldwide. Anyways, comment with your country's flag and let's get to know where you guys are watching us from. And whatever you want to say about the show, please add it and we would attend to it. This is going to be one chilling interview. Very, very, very um, touching. <laughs> Again, I'm hosting an ex-gay you know these stories are told so you you pick something from it these stories are told so you get to realize the reality on the ground and what is happening um, my guest is ready he will pour it all out because this is the platform that gives you the news or the stories in an undiluted mm -hmm. form red is the name i'm going to call my guest mr red you're welcome thank you how are you doing i'm doing well how are you feeling today? I'm okay. How old are you? 25. 25? Yeah. That's okay. So you are in your mid-20s? Yes. Great. And uh, can we proceed? Yeah. I described you uh, in my intro. I said you are an ex-gay. Yeah. Right or wrong? True. True. How did you get into it? Oh, it's a long process, but hmm. I, I was having a feeling... I think when I was growing up, to, I met someone that was in classes before I went to JHS. Mm -hmm. So that's how come I entered it. That's so, how I entered it. Yeah, the person introduced me mm -hmm. before I went to JHS. Then I signed on to Facebook before I started exploring. So that's how come. I was having a feeling, but if I wasn't having a feeling and the person that introduced me, I wouldn't have been into it but since i was having and i met someone who could have the same feeling as i am so you felt that's what you wanted yeah and then fortunately for you you met someone, someone. who also felt the same way yes and then it started, it started before you went to gss yes how old were you around how old that's maybe 11 or 12 11 or 12 if i remember you started yeah. sodomy yes great <clears throat> how many years have you been in it 2009 to uh, so almost Since 11. 2009 to yeah, to no, to last year, if I'm right, yeah, to okay. last year. So. so last year, yeah, that's when you stopped. Yes. What type are you? I'm both, all weather. <laughs> <laughs> all weather, like I, I do everything. So you do everything. Everything. When you entered. Yes. Okay. Yeah. When I entered, yeah. he was penetrating me. Okay. So I went to Facebook, mm -hmm. I started meeting people, but now I didn't know, like we have different types of roles. Mm -hmm. So when they asked me, what's your role? I don't know, I don't understand. So one person introduced me that mm -hmm. if someone penetrates you, the person penetrating you is stop. The person penetrating you is stop. stop. And you, you that's been penetrated, yeah. you are what? You are bottom. You are bottom. Yeah, so it means you being penetrated are the woman, is, then, is the woman and the one penetrating is the, the man. man. But we have people who do both, so and they are verse. So you are verse. I used to be bottom before I graduated to verse. Yes, yeah. you used to be bottom before yes. you graduated to verse. Yes, yeah. But you've played the bottom role more. Yeah, more. In all, so so now, so now I would say now because mm. 2020 you stopped. Yes. So 2020 is the stop for my now. Yes. So for all the years you've been doing this, can you tell the number of people that have had you? 500, 600, because a day I used to meet like three or four people. Because, as you mean, 500, 600. Yes, or like from 2009 or more, to now. Or more, because me meeting four people in a day, assuming, yeah. Mm. So even in a day, a, a week, multiply it, 
and also in a month. So four people a day. Yes. How do you meet them? How do you get to know them? Like they're on social media, they send you friend requests. They go through your friends, your friends list, and see this person is this, this person is this. But most people do create fake accounts. Okay. So assuming like they've seen one fine man, they go into their account. Hi dear, hi handsome, because you can't call a man dear. Mm -hmm. Whilst he is chatting with you with a fake account. So for so for instance, I have a fake account. My mm -hmm. picture is not there. Right. I know since my picture is not there, I mm -hmm. can say whatever <coughs> you might not know is me. So if I can hi dear, hi hello, I might be chatting you. So if I ask you what's your role and you respond, then it means you are like that. Right. But if I ask you what's your role and you, you are a bit lost, then it means you are not. Yeah, so, so you I have, have ways to, to identify. So, okay, so like the ways to identify is because let's say if i ask you what, what's your role mm -hmm. and you're able to tell me you are tough about it then it means i can vibe with you right but if you are not able to say then it means i have to try the next person the next person yes if you see people physically how are you able to tell that this person oh be? you feel it with within you like you like you have this kind of strong feeling or connection yeah so, uh -huh. yeah, so, yeah because f for me mm -hmm. yeah i used to uh, Although, be before I will have this feeling, like, I have to like you or I have to have an eye for you or you are my spec, uh -huh, but I don't know. So, okay. yeah, yeah. Are there things you see instantly that, should, that tells you that this guy could be part? Okay, so uh -huh. way back, it was just on Facebook. Mm -hmm. It was just like, let's say, four, four years now until I got to know if maybe you wore a ring on your little finger, mm -hmm. you are bottom right. or you wore a ring on your thumb finger you are tough so okay. it was just uh, you going through their parties mm -hmm. we used to organize the parties we have me meetings and other stuff like groups groups yeah we used to go so that's how come i got to know mm -hmm. so you wearing a ring on your little finger it means you are the woman so if you see someone oh this person is a woman and most people do wear these short knickers mm -hmm. yeah like the way ladies do where where, uh -huh, to those guys their yes men. to entice their men so <coughs> but most people who are bottom most of them be a feminine the but they are, yes feminine. they be a feminine mostly 80 percent of them be a feminine okay but there are some people who are bottom who don't be a feminine like the married man i showed you right uh -huh, he's bottom but he doesn't be a feminine so, so you have married men it's a feeling so it's all whether whether the person is married or not mm -hmm. but wait for me see i have I've met like like thirty percent of married men in Accra. Let's if we are supposed to rate it, thirty percent of married men in You slept Accra, with about thirty percent of, of married, married men in just Accra. Accra. In yes. just Accra. In just Accra. Let me wow. say like that, yeah. How do they how do they vibe with you and where do you have your your meetups to do your thing? Because a married man, his wife will be at home. Either you go to the hotel, most hotels will not admit married yes. women. So, so how do you either a friend's place? Yeah, either a friend's place. Yeah, normally it's a friend's place. It's a friend's place. Yeah, and then they meet you there. Yes. What do you gain from it? Oh, we do. We don't gain anything. Okay, so for instance, from my experience, mm. all the people that I've met, nobody has ever taken me out. Let's say to a restaurant before. We meet. We do our thing. Take us for transport. Some even don't pay. For for instance, before I was about to. This thing. Yeah. I met one guy at uh, his this around Aoudome. Mm -hmm. So he called me and he said he wanted to see me. And I, I told him I didn't have money on me. Mm -hmm. So he asked me to pick a taxi to come. So I picked a taxi from my place to his place. Then he paid. So after he paid, we went to the room, hot two rounds. I gave him two rounds. Like he pe penetrated me. Yeah. So after the sex, and he was like, I, I asked him, I wanted to watch down. He was like, no, I should go home. Man. So I was like, ah, let me watch now because you released in me. So He released in you? Yeah, me. we had raw sex. Unprotected sex. Yes, we had raw sex because that's the sweetest. So um, he told me I can't watch down, so I should go. So I was like, if I'm going, just give me some money. He said, sir, I gave him, he also gave me, so there is no money he has to give me. So I had to trek from that place to my house. To your house? From which, Aoudome to your house? Yes. At so, night? Around what time? Yeah, it was almost around 11, getting his lesson. So I had to home. walk that place to my house. So I I found they said, oh, well, that's his behavior. Since he has gotten what he wants. Have so, you slept with some popular figures? Oh, yeah. Like, 
10 to 12, 10 to 12 people, actors, presenters, yeah, and one pastor. But as for the pastor, we didn't do anything. So yeah. actors, presenters, yeah. Musicians yeah. too? Musicians, the, yeah, one. Yeah, one. You slept with one musician? Yeah, one, one musician. Secular or gospel artist? Oh, gospel artist. You slept with one gospel yeah. artist? Married? Yeah, married. So when, when they come to you as married men, what do they tell you? Oh. For being the reason why they are coming to you and not their wives, it's a normal because it's it's a feeling. One M married person, maybe he got he got married for cover up, okay. and it's a feeling he's having, so <laughs> nobody can change it. Well, so he coming to me, I know what I am into it. He also know what he's into it. So it means me being the woman bottom. They just come and use. He you. just come. We do because I un understand what I'm doing. He mm -hmm. also understands. So there is no cause for alarm. There's no cause for alarm. Yeah. So we go. We do our thing. Mm -hmm. That's it. If he gives money for transport, fine. If he doesn't give me too fine. But one funny thing about this is when you are chatting with the person mm -hmm. and you tell the person that maybe how how much will would you pay me? It's either he will block you right. or he will stop cha chatting Chatting you, but. As soon as he sees your picture, he send it to the next person and tell this person, oh, this person is a prostitute. Okay. And people in this, like, they talk, like, okay. they talk, like, they are very loud. Mm. So you can meet someone in town, the person might mention your name as if he knows you, but meanwhile, like he it's, you. it's on Facebook or maybe he has heard your name or mm. seen your picture somewhere. So it's got to a point in time. I have to d delete myself from Facebook, which I did. So I move on to a uh, Nest app, which uses GPS. Mm -hmm. So assuming I'm in Ibri, it shows that maybe this person is one mile away from me. Uh -huh. so and that's how you used to get people. We used to people. get people, yeah. So that's what I've been using till now. Till so I do, you, do you date every man that sleeps with you? It's random. You could be called, somebody could give your number to someone and they call you. How okay. You <laughs> so you, someone giving, giving your number to someone, that's the hookup. So assuming, for instance, I have a friend, mm. which may be, let's say you, mm. or A, mm. and B, mm. A is my friend, and yeah. C, C is also my friend. So yeah. if A likes C, mm. A can tell me that, oh, maybe he likes C, so maybe I can give C's number to A, then he will call. So that's hookup. So you've experienced that one too? Oh, I've ex experienced, but well, with that, that one, you see, for me, I was doing it for passion, you know, because... You have as a, a passion for yeah, being gay? Yeah, I am a dad. I see you, I like you. Is it big? Link him to me. Uh -huh. So that's what, one thing. It, I wasn't concerned about the money. It's, it's your lifestyle? It's my... Uh -huh. Let's say that. Because like there are most people have had something to do with them and I'm not taking a dime from because them. Because you wanted to have sex with them? That's it, yeah. Or because... So, do you also seduce men? I've, I've done that to only one man, but it wasn't that easy. So, <laughs> even... I'm laughing. How did, you, how did you do it? Oh, I, I started com complimenting him. I like your shirt. I like your muscles. You are well built. So, that's how I come. So, as soon as I had his number, mm. that was it. Everything. Oh, let's meet up for... Let, let's meet for drink cup. So, mm. that's how I come. I see. It proceeded. So I finally went to his house and everything started. Everything started yeah. from there. How do you feel when they finish with you? Do, do you feel proud that I've cleared this man, I've cleared that man? I don't feel proud. There are two ways, like the way we have good and bad. Mm. So as soon as they finish pen, pen, penetrating me, I feel like I've now come back to my normal senses. senses. Like, what have I done? Mm. But on the other way, was whilst you are penetrating me, I'm also masturbating. So mm. it's like we both came. But you feel guilt, mm. yeah. And with this, there's nothing like dating. I might see you, let's date. I might see you, let's date. In my head, oh, I'm dating you. Mm. But you are still chatting people. Mm. So, and so there's no truthfulness. There's there. no truthfulness. And this thing, I'm not going to marry you at the end. So mm. it's like we are having fun. So f for instance, most people, when they have sex with you for the first time, they, they don't call you again. They move on to the next they person. They block you. Yes, because like they know, mm. say, we are many. Mm. So yeah. Doesn't it hurt? Don't it's, don't doesn't it hurt? Don't you feel it is not right for you to do? It's not right. But how you, you know it's do not one? right. You know it's not right. It's not right, but how you for do it? So why do you do it? Oh it's a feeling. 
That's how I feel. What is the feeling like? That's how I feel. Oh, it's sweet. We kiss, we, we mm -hmm. suck, we do all sorts of things. So, like the way you and a girlfriend do, that's the same thing you also do. So That's the same thing you do yeah. as well? Yes. Have you had any of them maltreat you for any reason? Because guys date girls, they maltreat yes. them sometimes, they hurt them. Do you have people who have... Oh, they've not... I won't call it maltreatment, but... Uh, people have been good to me, like very nice to me in a way. So me also saying because I I was young by then. Mm -hmm. So if maybe I need some money, oh maybe as you may see I need this, then you promise me and then. So since you've promised me, I have it in mind that oh maybe this person will give yeah. me A B C D will give me this money right. and then so he calls me today. I have to be available for him. He calls me the next time. I have to be available for him for me to get that money. Mm -hmm. So if I've been able to do all these things for you, and when it's time for you to give me the money, you 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 didn't give it to me. How do you expect me to feel? So these are the people I would say say maybe they've more, more treated me in a mm -hmm. way. But uh, karma is real. So uh, let's let's put it in the fridge. Karma. Yeah. Let's put it in the fridge. fridge. Karma will deal with them. Yes. Including some popular people. Oh no! E even with the pop popular people, one person gave me like fifty CDs, which I was very disappointed in him. The other person who didn't give me anything. The other person, as as now, he behaves that church, 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 church with his muscles. Mm -hmm. But all but his he, fallacies. He, he, so. he ate you the most. Yeah. Oh, he he's not that big, so. And he even didn't last, so he's not that big and he even didn't last. Yeah, so Do you expect him to last? Oh, you see, normally, what if you are penetrating me mm. and I'm also masturbating? Mm. It means we have to come at the same time, okay? So, if I'm masturbating and you also penetrate me, I have to wait when it gets to some point. Uh, a point in time mm. so that I ask you if you're about to come, tell me so that I also masturbate and we, we, come, we together. come together. But if I come first before you come mm -hmm. then it means i'm okay it's right. either i will let you stop penetrating me mm -hmm. but you you came before i came so i first said hey yeah. <laughs> you under two minutes or yeah yeah so you also have that experience that you have under two minutes man yes we, we, we have under two minutes man yeah are there people we see around us that are doing it but they don't look at they don't look it yes because it's a secret thing uh, everybody does it in, in the, the safe, yeah, in the closet or in his safe place. So if he's doing it, he's not doing it with you. Mm. He has people he does he's it. Doing yeah. it with. So, most married men are gay. Yes, most married men. Some married to cover up. For instance, I know of one man who is in La Paz, that mm. area, and he's married. He does it every. Every, every day he has people he's meeting so he's, he's doing it he's doing it he's married i don't know if he uses it for something yeah but, but he's, he's doing it he's doing it yeah he's doing it he's doing it how do you treat yourself you've been doing this since 2009 so now your anu your anus yes. must have been destroyed by now oh. <laughs> as you sit i don't want to believe you have anus <laughs> i have anus <laughs> you have anus it's really working yeah is it intact oh it's not that intact but by God's grace, it's on a normal low key now. Yeah, it's, it's on a normal. It, or, or it got destroyed and it has been fixed. It got destroyed and I'm actually on medication. So, Your medication, as yeah. you speak. Yes. How did it get destroyed? Oh, you see, I've been into it for like let's say a decade and for ten see, years. Yes, let's say that. And you see, if I tell you the number of people who have penetrated me, it's not easy. Someone is size nine, size ten, size twelve. It all has to enter, and you see. It's a small place, mm -hmm. so if you have a big deck like this bamboo, mm -hmm. it has to enter. So it means every day soon, 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 soon is going. So that it will get to a point in time, mm -hmm. that place or uh, friction mm -hmm. will let that place open. Mm -hmm. So you doing all these things, and assuming a day, I used to meet like three or four people in a day. Right. I have to come home and sit on hot water. Or uh, apply this equilibrium around my place. So mm -hmm. recently, I heard of Anuso and other medicine. Yeah, so that's what I, I started can using. Say. I started Anusol. using it. Yeah, but as for that one, it's even not safe. Still, me using Anuso and this 
it could be I was still being penetrated by penetrated. people. So, so you go to the first person, come home, sit on hot water, use a crobe, yes. go to the second guy, come back home, use a crobe, go to the third guy, all in a day. All in a day. So then carry the crobe along with you. No, let's say you see that place is for physics. So okay. for instance, if I, I'm about to meet someone, I hardly don't eat. I go and take what I have to take, whether the person will go for two or three rounds. Because normally if you eat and the person is in a process, you might, uh, might. butter might, you <laughs> butter might, might. Yeah. You might <laughs> yes, you might shit in the process. Yes. Have you had that? Have, has oh, that happened to yeah, you? Yeah, it's happened to me like twice in my life. You shit whilst being fucked? Yes. So I first uh, have to educate myself. So, like, so now so if you're going, to stop. You I don't eat. eat. Yeah. Or if I don't eat. Or if I've even eaten, I have to apply this. What's the name? Bentua. Okay. I have to apply uh, Bentua. I have to use Bentua mm. um, to pull an amount of hot water. Okay. Then I will insert it into my anus, then jump for it to clear all my stomach waste mm -hmm. to bring, bring it out, or I have to dip my finger into my anus to see if I'm going to stay in someone. If not so, then I have to go or drink leptin to burn all the excess fat or whatever I've eaten. So my system becomes clean, then I'll be able to go and do whatever I have to do. So assuming I'm with you now, mm. and by the time I get home, maybe I'm still chatting someone. Mm. So let's say currently I'm a Kaswa and I stay at spin test. So maybe I'm from Kaswa to spin test. Maybe before I'll get to spin test, I've already chat someone and um, maybe, maybe like the person stays at race course so yeah. I, I have to i like a lot person go go to the person go to race course go to race finish. course and chop and, and if i'm still chatting people yeah, yeah from, i can still yeah from there you have to go and chop the next guy yes and these they all come inside you yes because so spam yes. enters you yes please then from there i have to squeeze it out you squeeze the spam out yes you squeeze the spam out yes please how do you squeeze the spam out we i know ladies it do it we squeeze it out because it can be it can be in your belly. In your belly. So why do you allow them to pour it in? Because that's the sweetest. That's where you you get your feeling. So mm. yeah. Mm. 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 Have you had any infections? Yes, I have. I've had infections. And it has not been easy. This STIs. I'm actually treating it, but I'm currently on drugs, which is the antiretroviral drugs. Yeah, Anti which I'm antiretroviral taking. drugs for yeah. what treatment? Like they know, <laughs> they know. Those who know, know. No, I'm sure to buy HIV. Yes, please. You have HIV. Yes. When did you get it? Three years now. Three years. Yeah. When you realized you had HIV, did you stop? I was still doing it because I'm the woman. They were penetrating me, so they are popping it up for me. So they gave you the HIV. Yes, please. So why didn't you stop? Couldn't you spread it? Oh no! You see, something which, something which you are addicted to it, it's mm. very difficult for you to stop. You understand? And with this feeling, it's not easy. So me stopping, it's very hard. So I came to the realization that my anus was in a bad state, which I felt say no, let me stop this thing. So that's what i'm actually dealing so are you aware you might have given hiv to some of these men? maybe well but did you care about them not really because as at that time i really i was not even thinking about it i was th thinking about whom i'm going to meet mm -hmm. and whom i was doing this with and i was a woman they were penetrating me here and there so if you knew you have it and we are having raw sex. Mm -hmm. You have it and you are penetrating me raw. You are topping it up for me. Right. You understand? So that's what I Or you say. feel they didn't treat you right? That whoever gave it to you didn't treat you right? I won't know because I wasn't dating one person. I was meeting people. You so were sleeping around? Sleeping around like a dog. So moving from one, one house to another. So would you say then you were a whore? Yes, absolutely. Or a slave king. Were sleeping, yeah, because you were sleeping with sleeping. almost anyone, anybody. I like anybody I feel. So, if you see someone and you like them, tell me about an instance you had to chase someone to get him. What, oh. what tricks do you use? <laughs> what tricks do you use to get your men? You, you see, one thing most people who are gays are normally carrying 
and some even go to the extent of dragging people. So, for instance, with you like this, mm -hmm. since you you are not like that, mm -hmm. I might get closer to you f for you to think, say, ah, like this guy, why? What's he just up? likes me. Uh, he, he just likes me. But as soon as I get a chance to visit you at home, mm -hmm. I'm close to you, mm -hmm. or maybe we cook, we cook together, you might not know maybe what I have in mind. So mm -hmm. uh, as soon as I tell you, just take, take this drink or take this, maybe I've actually placed the pills in Inside. it. So, so maybe you actually drag the person? You drag the person, you sleep, I suck you, wash your heart, I sit on it for you, you release and that's it but there is like there was one instance i was around nima where like there was this fine gentleman who, who came out from a, 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 a bank mm -hmm. i won't mention the bank's name so i saw him and i was like wow i like this guy he was just fair with a beard and pink lips mm -hmm. so i followed him and when i went i saw him behind a machine like where a computer where they normally have the uh, inquiries. Mm -hmm. So I went to him and I was like, I would like to create an account. So he said, said like there's a queue here, so mm -hmm. I should take the form and go home. So I told him, said, can he give me his number? So as soon as he gave me his number and I gave him an eye. So when I gave him an eye, he was smiling. So you gave him an eye? Yeah. I you, went, you, eye. Went, you went at him? Yes. And he was smiling? He was smiling. So I thought, I said, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So when I go home, I intentionally told him that, oh, I'm actually filling the form, so he should help me. Then he asked me that he's around, uh, he's not far from where I stay, yeah. though, so I should, because I was like, oh, okay, then let me come. So he said, say, it's over. And I persuaded him, said, oh, he said, 10 minutes filling the form, so let me come, so tomorrow right. I, I present it. So as soon as I go home, he was in a boxer, and I actually hugged him. So whilst I hugged him, and I, I kept, I kept long in hugging him, so that was how come it all started. So maybe he knew what I was up to, mm -hmm. yeah, because it wouldn't be easy for me to seduce someone, yeah. So he followed up. You guys had sex. Yes, we had sex. Yeah. He, he penetrated you. He penetrated me. Yeah. Was that the only person you seduced? And also one man. He, <laughs> I seduced him in his office, so. He didn't find it that easy, but like we we are cool now, so that's yeah, cool. what I can You seduced him. I seduced him. Yeah. So you won him over to do what you wanted him to do to you. I went to his office, and we had it there. It wasn't once. It wasn't twice. It kept on. It kept on. Even though I know he's a married man, so it got to a point in time he felt that. Uh, Oh no, what he's what I'm doing with him. Even though he was penetrating me, we have to stop. Mm -hmm. So it got to a point in time he was ignoring me, which I was like, he can't ignore me like that. So I dug him. So, so you dogged him? I dogged him because I felt like wait, this harsh words he's saying on me. Let me forget him after all. I clear him, so that's <laughs> it. So you you've slept with people in the banking sector? Yeah. You slept with people in the entertainment sector? Yes, please. You slept with people in the Christian sector? Yes, please. Say? Okay, Christian sector, I know they are even most gospel musicians, mm -hmm. this kind of upcoming ones, they are into it. Some be like feminine. But you see, one thing about this is a lifestyle. Someone could be on a podium or mm -hmm. a platform to sing, and you could be overwhelmed. But what he does in secret is... is, is it's you like you me? know you know a lot about you you've yes. done a lot uh, yes you've yes. done so a lot know, with these yeah, men we, from, we, with from, these people yeah and i know from the corporate world yeah. down to the yes. entertainment to yes. politics you've been there yes so you would you would you would call yourself the guy who has fucked a lot of men big yes, men and, yes, and, and be proud about it like a clear and you are saying close to 500 600 people yes because or or more because there are some people who cry, I even don't know they are aware about. So, do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't have a girlfriend. Have you ever had sex with a lady? Yeah, but she was a prostitute. So, she was a prostitute. Yeah. What? You only sleep with prostitutes? I don't have a girlfriend, and there is no way if I don't get some someone to chop me, then it means I have to go to a prostitute mm -hmm. section to have sex with them. To release, so, yeah. so why don't you just stay with the prostitutes? I can't stay with them because I'm with them. Anyway. Same as you. 
Yes, so I can't stay. And they are ladies. Mm. So, yeah. But you don't want ladies? It's not like I don't want. My feeling is for a guy those days. Yeah, mm. so me having a feeling for a guy and today I'm not getting anybody to penetrate me. Then it means I have to go because normally if I masturbate, I don't feel it. So okay. since I don't feel it, I need like a well built man, man like, to do to, it with. To be on top of So you became yeah. very addicted to it? I was addicted, not very. I was very, very 100% or 1000% addicted. Damn. I can never be without having. I was having sex here, here, here and there. It's a, it was very painful. And you see, one thing about this is, is the top guy is the wise person, mm-hmm. and you are the foolish. Because whilst he's penetrating you, you are feeling pain, so. Mm-hmm. But you have to change the pains to morning, like the so way you, you be convert screaming. the pain to morning. Morning, like ah, oh, like screaming, like the way like your girlfriend will be mm-hmm. screaming while so just give it to me, baby. Uh-huh. You do That's all those the same. Yes, you say all those things. We say all sort of this. What's things. your favorite line? Oh, Kumifi has like came me from the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's a thing. It comes naturally. Ah, so ah, like, ah, <laughs> oh, like it. It comes. Yeah, you know? Man is is stopping you. You are telling you Kumifi No, it. because like you are enjoying it. It's like um, pain wine. and pleasure. Pain and pleasure. So whilst he's on top of you, yes, are you coming? Give it to me, baby. Like you see, like you are saying all sort of this thing. Or don't make your Kumifi. Like you see, you say all sort of it to. Spice up. So, are there people that when you mention to me, I'll be surprised? Are there oh, people you know I know who are into it that I'm not aware of? Yes, please. Yeah, like there are so many people. So, yeah, it's our, a lifestyle. Our so. boys, boys, our big men. Yeah, so like they do it for the camera. So, well, nobody knows what hmm. he or his fellow. So, why did you stop? I stopped because of the medicine I was taking, and two, my anus. I first said I'm there only child too. I have a stepbrother though, mm-hmm. but you see, you can't do this for the rest of your life. Every year, imagine, I've been in, in, in this for a decade, I'm still growing, so when, when will I stop? And all these people, when you ask someone, oh maybe I need money for food, the person won't mind you. The person wants you to come for him to penetrate you and give you this peanut. So I feel essentially, I for wise up. Mm. So even, uh, I'm not going to wait for me to be in Pampers and become a burden upon my family whilst they'll be working scot free. So I have to look sharp. And stop. Yes, prevention is better than cure. Because there's nothing in this, to be frank. This thing, like, there's nothing in it. I've been in, in it for like 10 years. I've met people who could have changed my life. But nobody will even ask you, what do you want to do with, with, with your life? They see you to be stupid. They see you to be adamant. They just want to have their way with you and that's it. Because I remember I went one fashion man, he sold, he, gi- he gave me a lift. And the next day, he bought this food for me. Papa, yeah, he came and that was it. We had it after then. I never heard from this man. He blocked me anytime I called, busy, busy till now. Mm-hmm. So it's like everybody has his way away because we are so many in, in town. Mm-hmm. So you he's are so not, many in town. Yeah. So he can get it anytime. anytime. You are not special. Yes. So he's not coming to waste his man- money on you. And they just used you or you used them? We both use ourselves. You, you both gave me, yourself. I gave you. So that's right. it. Because I need a dick. He also need a pussy. So sorry, the ass. Yeah. Yeah. So do you blame someone for what you have become? I don't blame anybody. But the people who I felt the more, more treated me was because I asked for a favor. You promised me. And you promised me. You asked me. You want to see me, we go, we do it, tomorrow we do it, then I didn't get my favor. So I, I don't blame anybody, but I blame myself. I take responsibility for myself, so I don't have to wait for it to get or for it to be in a critical situation. Mm-hmm. So it's better I badge out. So you came with some of the medicine? Yes, please. Can I see? Yeah. So. All this be medicine. Yeah, it be me- medicine. I did. No, for I can't remove them and show you individually, but you could tell that these are anti antiretroviral drugs. Yeah. Antiretroviral drugs. So it is not as if he's yeah. just here talking, yeah. or we've gone to bring some guy to come and sit here and lie. These are the drugs. And you could see the drugs he's been using. I'm sure there are some he's taking. Hey, 
there are some Ami Ami inside. The ones that you press and then it comes out. <laughs> Red. Thank you very much. So, is this something that whoever is listening to you who is into this act should stop? Yes, that's what I can say it. They should stop. Yes, please. They should stop. Yes, please. Give them a reason. Even even the Bible, even it's in the Bible, God hates it. So that's what I can say. Yeah. They should stop. I went to your it's enough. So. And people want it to be legalized. It's their own problem. Well, it's their own problem. It's their own problem. But it should stop. Yes, please. Thank you very much for sharing your story okay. with with me and with the rest of the world. Okay. You are a brave man. And very honest because the way you were saying the things, some I even thought you won't be able to say, but you just spit it out. It's like you've taken responsibility yes, and you please. own your truth. Yes, please. And that's the beautiful thing about it. Okay. Red, um, God will be with you. Do you need help? Do you need any assistance? My people are very benevolent. If you need any assistance, say it. If they hear it from your own mouth, those who would want to help will come in and help. Okay, I'm currently jobless in search of a job, so maybe that's what I I need now. But I'm I'm not that okay. But in a way, I'm okay. But job, you yeah. need job. Yeah, you need job. Yeah. Because if you don't get job and hunger sets in, you could be tempted to do it again. No way. I'm not that okay, but I'm a bit okay. But no, as a full side, yeah, I'm okay. But job, but you need job. Uh, yeah, you that's need what job. I can say. Yes, please. You need job. Yes, please. Any job. What's, what's your certificate? SHS. SHS. Yes. SHS certificate. And you would be ready to work yes. if anybody is willing to offer you a yes, job. Yes, please. Okay. So, Red needs job. He's jobless as we speak. And if he doesn't get job, and he will need money as well. He will need money, definitely. So, whoever wants to help. We all have made mistakes in life. It gets to a point you realize your mistakes and you come out boldly, you own your truth, you own your reality, and you speak it. In as much as a lot of you will be angry with what he did and bash him and say all sorts of things about him, he has finally realized it, it was wrong. What next? If there's any help after insulting and saying all the things about him, if you have any help to help him, we will do our best. If you have any help, after insulting him and saying all the things you want to say about him, help, and God will bless you. Red, thank you very much once again. Thank you too. Eddie, thank you very much. Eddie does Akins. You know, my production team, don't joke with us, man. Brown, God bless you, man. God bless all of you. And to you, our wonderful viewers, you keep us going. I cherish you guys so much. Um, my name is Arnold Men Salavanel. Share this. Let the world get to hear about it. We out.